might give you more detail than say like a money in Excel, which is just going to say you got this much from this financial institution, that financial institution. It's not going to be breaking out, I don't believe, by how much do you have in large cap or big blue chip stocks versus versus other stocks, U.S. versus so on and so on. Okay, and then we've got Quicken. Again, I put Quicken on both sides here because I think it has elements of both, although, like I say, I haven't worked with it for a long time since basically since it left the ownership from Intuit, the owners of QuickBooks, and that's been a while now. So, you know, if anybody has more information on that, I'd be curious to see how, you know, what people are working. I have looked it up and seen what people are doing with it, but again, I, ha- I can't say anything directly about it. So in any case, then you might have budgeting software. Now notice that all these softwares we worked at here and up top may have budgeting components, like a QuickBooks has a budgeting component in it, but the budget, remember, is, is designed to go out into the future. So the QuickBooks design really isn't designed to like help you to make the budget quite as easily as it is to basically, once you enter the budget, to allow you to do the comparison between what actually happened and the budget. It gives great reports for budget versus actual. But to actually compile the budget, I would still do that in Excel. And we will do practice problems on that, meaning I would make a 12-month budget or something in Excel and then just do the data input, just basically put that into QuickBooks. And then QuickBooks will allow us to do a nice comparison of budget versus actual. So no matter what software I use here, I'd probably still basically make the budget in Excel. And the, the same is true with these items here. Obviously, Excel, if I use money in Excel, I think it has like a budgeting little tool taskbar to it, but it's not really that in depth. You can use it. You know, I think it, it gives you a month out budget, but to really get a good budget in place, you'd probably actually want to build a budget template in Excel. And I think personal capital, again, they have another kind of budget like widget in there or something, but it doesn't seem that that detailed to me. If you want to do like a good budget, a good cash flow budget, I think you're going to have to take the the actual detail and do it yourself in something like Excel. They have other budgeting softwares. I don't have a lot of experience with them. Again, I would like to do it. I like doing it in Excel and then inputting it possibly into QuickBooks or something like that. But uh, budget software, you, you can complement your financial accounting tool with budgeting software. So you might have like Excel. There's something called Mint that people seem to like. Some of these might come with apps that can kind of help you with your app and your phone. Something that's something I don't do. I don't I don't do it with my I don't try to figure out my budget with my phone. But if you're really good at that kind of stuff, then I've hear that Mint is and then Honeydew is another one and Pocket Guard and Every Dollar. So you might want to see how those things I would think that those types of tools would complement in some ways, possibly what you would be doing with your other accounting softwares, helping you to kind of then project out into the future or track what you're doing kind of on a day-to-day type of basis. If you have an app on your phone, you can kind of see if you have a daily budget or, you know, you can kind of track what you're doing on a day-to-day basis. So they might help supplement what you're doing on your overall picture.